YouTube. I, I have no idea what this is. Hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget, hit the bell button if you know what this is. What? This. McDaniel, what happened to your car? It, uh, it turned alive. <laughs> it turned alive? Yeah. It's alive now. Oh, hold on. You've got eyes. It, it's alive now. And you can't even see where you go when it's inside. <laughs> I put some eyes onto the car. It's just a sunshade from Amazon, but... Pretty cool. I'll have a link to it down at the bottom. By the way, we also have a bunch of other links down at the bottom. They're all Amazon affiliate links, but if you click on them, it helps out the show. So, Nathaniel. A lot. Do you think we can get this thing to turn? Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right, let's see. All right, let's give this another shot. So the Marvel Mystery Oil and ATF mixture has been sitting in here for about another week now. Let's see. Think it'll work? Mm. It's, it's so... It's a happy bear! What? What are you doing with the bear? <laughs> the bear, y'all! Why are you dragging the bear up? He's all dirty. It's cold. You're it's making a mess of him. Come it's here. It's cold. Give him to me. He's cold in there. He's cold. Okay. You're cold because you refused. Why are you wearing a firefighter's outfit? Ugh. Someone's calling. Stupid. Nothing. Open up the engine. Dad, why'd you open up I the engine? I opened up the engine, buddy. Here, look. Daniel George. No, no, no. Pay How attention. did you open I, up the I opened up the engine so that we could see what kind of engine it was. We had a great viewer point out that there should be a tag on the engine that'll tell us if it's numbers matching. But you know what? This tag, so far as I can tell, is blank. Is there anything stamped on this tag? Ow. All oh, the paint's coming off. I don't know, I feel some indentations. All right, so trying to decode this engine. I don't know if you can see, but there's a tag in here. I'm trying to read. I'm like trying to read it by braille though. There's so much grease. Here's one. Here's one, Dad. Nathaniel. We're not fishing. Stop, stop it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> we have got some work to do. Yep. Hmm. We need to find, we need to be able to read that. Little tag. You guys see that tag? It's right in the middle of Dad, I can't see the line fall out. It can't, it Come can't, here. All right, so we're gonna to try to figure out if our engine is numbers matching to the car. So what we need to do is we need to read this little tag. But we can't because this air cleaner is in the way. So we're gonna get this thing off and try to figure this out. Nathaniel, come here. It's a carburetor, all right. Oh man, this is dirty. I guess I have to get this. Whoa, 
that just lifts right off. Would it be that easy? Oh my. Did I just break this? Oops. Huh. Well, that's a bit brittle. So I just broke the original little tube. I guess it wasn't even necessary, was it? Well, that was a waste. That's the carb. All right, anybody on YouTube who knows more than me, is this a four barrel? I think it is. Four barrel carburetor? That's a good sign if it is. What does it say on the end of this? Oh, lean. What, that's how you adjust it? I'm so confused. Clean that up. I can't believe I ruined this. Dirty work. Dirty work. Oh, I can see this now. The tag. Can't read a thing. Yes, my son. Careful now. I don't even have shoes on. Why did you take your shoes off, you goof? Nathaniel. <laughs> go back inside. Why? If you're not going to have shoes on, then you have to go back inside. You madman. And why is there a... Where is this fishing line going? It's wrapped around the cars? Where's your shoes? Uh, Hi. Hello. Oh, it's, the camera's all wrapped up in fishing line. What? Oh. This is totally normal. Back to the task at hand. Let's see if we can see what this Engine tag says. I cannot read a thing. Can you read anything? I cannot read. Hold on. Get some contrast. 289 C. Is that a C or a zero? That's a C. Yeah, you guys definitely can't read this, but I can. 289 C. 66, 1, 2, that's a Ford symbol on the end, 1, 2, Ford symbol, an E, 2, 3, 5, dash, maybe a 1, I think it's a 1, okay, so 289, C, 66, 1, 2, Ford symbol, E-235. Does, does anybody know what that means? I don't know what that means. Does that mean it's numbers matching? If it was a C code, would it have a four barrel on it? I, I have no idea. I don't know what any of this means. Well, my hands are all greasy now. I think that's four barrel, isn't it? Right, isn't that the throttle? Yeah. A oh, four barrel. Uh huh. All right, so thank you to the awesome Instagram follower who helped us out, uh, trying to figure this out. 
we'll see. I'm gonna have to go back and refer to the information. It's kind of embarrassing, I can't actually remember what they said. Again, I told I'm an amateur. I have no idea. Now I have to. Where is this fishing line going? There's a little rubber fish on the end of that line. Ah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna swap in this Honda Accord hybrid powertrain. If you don't give us a like and a subscribe, I'm of course just kidding. I would never swap in a Honda Accord hybrid powertrain. This car needs to be donated to charity. COVID-19 kind of got in the way of that. This is the story of every dad who goes fishing with a five-year-old. Got a stick, got some shoes, and a plastic fish. Oh my word. How is this even possible? Caught one. So I had a chance to look this stuff up online on the fortification website. And based on that tag on the engine, we can tell from the 235-1 that's on there that this was a 289 four barrel, which is what we see. And that also matches the A that's on the VIN on the door. So based on that, based on everything else that we're seeing, we're pretty sure this is the original numbers matching engine. Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah. This is the original engine that came in this car over 50 years ago. I so. Do you know what that means, Nathaniel? What? It means that as much as you love the Unicorn and as much as you love the Kyle Mustang on Instagram, we are going to have to keep this car as original as possible. Yeah. See? Thumbs up. Or thumbs down. What? They're not allowed to thumbs down us. I mean, the hose clamps were so worn that when I tried to bend them off, they just snapped. I don't know, this looks like a barn find original. What's a barn find? It means that it was just sitting. Sitting and sitting and sitting, and we got it. So that means that it can be here. For la 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 I know, we did have to work for on for a long time. So, the ATF and the marble mystery oil didn't work. Which means... We have to do it the hard way. Uh-huh. Uh this is coming out. What is this? It's an engine stand. Whoa. Means that that engine is coming out and we're putting it on this 750 pounds. Whoa! That's How will we get this out? Hmm. It's just so big. So, guys, I'm going to build this. And we're going to spend a lot of time reading engine manuals. And then this is going to be coming out. <laughs>